Alrighty. I was asked to do an unearthed collections video by my homie Us Only. So let's get this shit cracking. We'll do a quick view and then a fucking rundown of everything. That low, low number though. Alrighty, back for the fucking close-ups of each fucking flick and a rundown of the collection. I'm gonna do it in alphabetical, not in fucking chronological, so it is what it is, folks. So, 100 Tears, Killer Clown movie. I like it. But I also feel that it is very highly overrated. The gore is good, but there's nowhere near the amount of gore as people try to make this out to be. It's not start to finish gore. It's mostly talking with splatters of gore here and there. Still a good movie, though. Don't get me wrong. Here we have the American Guinea Pig box set. get into the individual views on them as I keep going so it's a cool fucking set American guinea pig bouquet of guts and gore I believe this was my first introduction to unearthed films it was either this or flowers either way both flicks were fucking great intros I really do miss this style of releasing from Unearthed Films though. That's really what got me hooked. And then the content within is what kept me coming back. But Bouquet of Guts and Gore, probably my second favorite out of the four movies. American Guinea Pig Bloodshock. A nice medical torture flick. Mostly black and white with a killer fucking ending in color. The The ending to this movie is fucking phenomenal. Um, but with that being said, third favorite American guinea pig. Song of Solomon. Advertised as an American guinea pig at first. Nah. This is not a guinea pig style movie in my opinion if it was marketed as just a straight up fucking exorcism movie minus the fucking guinea pig tag I'd be all for it but to call that American guinea pig leaves a bad taste in my mouth so definitely the least favorite of the series fucking sacrifice I jokingly call this Italian guinea pig as it's from uh, Sarah Rouge and Demiziano. By far my favorite American guinea pig movie. The only fucking flick in years to make me fucking cringe. If you don't have this, you're fucking missing out. Get that shit. Aftermath Genesis. Good old morgue necrophilia shit. I don't remember the difference between the red case and the normal case. Someone told me it is what it is. I don't fucking remember. This one. Fuck this movie is all I gotta say. I fucking hated it. Atroz. Again. Badass fucking trifold case and everything. And another movie to suffer from shitty advertising. Being told this was hardcore and extreme and up there with a Serbian film. Nah, -uh. There's like 
10 seconds of goodness in this fucking movie if you want to watch it as an extreme flick. If you've never seen this movie, don't watch it as a horror movie. It's a fucking drama flick. Fuck any... Fuck the whole fucking snuff reference, too. That was bullshit. Black Metal Veins, but I'm pretty sure this is the cut version. Never watched this disc. I have the hard box anniversary set from fucking Black Lava as well. Not gonna watch a fucking heroin documentary that's cut. Fucking Boy Meets Girl. Fucking trash. Don't bother. It was a blind buy. Thank fuck it was cheap on Amazon. I bought it in the beginning of my unearthed following, thinking everything they released would be badass and hardcore. Boy, did I learn quick. Brain jacked. With the man himself, Stephen Byro, in it. Couldn't save it. Barely finished this flick. Can't really tell you much about it. It's been a couple years, and I don't want to revisit it. Fucking brutal. Probably my favorite unearthed release of, uh, what was it, 2019 it came out? Or 2018? Whatever fucking year this movie came out in, it was like a January release, and it was the best release from them that year. Fucking great movie. City of Rot. Picked it up because it was cheap from Grindhouse Video. I'm not really big on animated flicks. Honestly, don't even know if I'll watch it, but needed it for the collection. Maybe if I get fucked up enough one day, I'll, I'll throw it on and enjoy a cartoon. Caller. I hate to say it, but... This movie sucked, too. Uh, I, sh I guess I shouldn't say sucked, it just it wasn't what I was expecting. When I heard there was a new flick coming from Ryan Nicholson, I was fucking ecstatic. I was like, fuck yeah, there's got to be lots of sleaze, lots of gore, all that nasty good shit. Nah, there was very little of any of that in it. It was relatively tame, unfortunately. Hmm. Fucking creeper. This flick's fucking cool. Uh, about a dude who follows these chicks on the internet and they start fucking tormenting him and humiliating him over a live stream. And then they meet up with him and think they kill him. And he comes back. And now that's starting to sound like a... I'm not getting too far into it, so just trust me. Creeper's a fucking dope-ass movie. Get that shit. Dead Fury, another one I picked up cheap from Grindhouse last year. I haven't even cracked it open. Um, another animated thing, so like I said with City of Rot, unless I get extremely fucked up and in the mood for a cartoon, probably never watching it, just wanted it for the collection. Deep Web Triple X. If it wasn't for Boy Meet the Girl, this would probably be the worst release from Unearthed fucking films. I had such high hopes for this motherfucker. Fucking Demiziano working on a movie about the deep web slash dark web. Being told how fucking hardcore this shit was gonna be. Fucking pathetic ass shit, man. A fucking five year old could handle this movie. Fucking garbage. And don't even get me started on that fucking bullshit re-release called fucking Dark Web with new footage. Fuck off. I ain't buying that shit either. Fucking diss. This is fucking incredible. Bill Oberst Jr. Now, his performance for me was amazing in this. It didn't match his role as Papa Corn in Circus of the Dead, but... God damn, this is amazing. It's super short, it's like less than 70 minutes. You can fucking pound her out in an afternoon and go about your business. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Dreaming fucking purple neon. My introduction to Todd Sheets and what a horrible fucking introduction it was. I don't get the love for this movie. The pacing is fucking atrocious. It took me five attempts to finish this fucking movie because I kept falling asleep. Wasn't stoned or drunk or nothing. I was fucking sober trying to watch it and I still couldn't stay awake. Tried it stoned as well. Not much better. That movie fucking sucks. Famed Mort Trilogy. Holy fuck, this was wild. Blind buy, didn't know what to expect, and I was hooked from the fucking menu screen. If you can find it, get it. Famine. The first of the unearthed Ryan Nicholson collection. They nailed this release. The transfer was beautiful. I've always loved the movie, but seeing it so clean has made me love it even more and gave me real high hopes for the rest of the Ryan Nicholson transfers. Flowers. And I remember randomly getting a message from Phil Stevens didn't know who the fuck he was or why the fuck he was talking to me. I noticed he had a movie coming out, so I did a blind buy on Amazon, a pre-order. And when it came in, I watched that fucking movie back to back. That shit was fucking incredible. No comments about recent things going on with him, but here's hoping my flowers too fucking shows up. Uh, that would be nice. Francesca, again, with the kick-ass fucking trifold. Why'd you fucking stop? I'd pay the extra fucking 15 or $20 if that's what it took to keep these coming. I miss these fucking cases. Francesca, decent enough giallo movie, but it didn't keep me gripped like some. Definitely not as good as ones like Trauma. The 70s movie, not the 2016 movie. Fuck that one. Or uh, Strip Nude for Your Killer, Don't Torture a Duckling. Those are all by far superior, but it's a worthy entry into the giallo scene. Kudos to Unearth for venturing into that style. Gutter Balls. Two disc edition with the 40 hours of extras that I managed to sit through 30 minutes of. It was just the same scene over and over and over and over just from different fucking angles it's kind of a shortcut for saying you got 40 hours of extras but it is what it is also the transfer isn't any better than the other blu-ray i have with the german media book so kind of disappointed i was hoping with how awesome the famine release was that gutter balls was going to be cleaned up like amazingly this is one of my all-time favorite flicks but sadly no but on the plus side the commentary track on the the movie with ryan is amazing and i highly recommend you listen to it learned some cool shit about that movie that i didn't know harry carey boobs and blood it's like three and a half four hours of women masturbating and gutting themselves how can you complain about it? It's fucking dope. And trifold. Fucking beauty. Fucking hate crime. I remember fucking really digging this movie. And I definitely got to give it a rewatch soon. Maybe later. But I am planning on rewatching Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Because one can never watch that movie too many fucking times. This one was a surprise gift from, uh, from Gorepunks over on Facebook. And I was fucking pissed at him when I opened the envelope and saw that shit in there with my copy of The Devil from Massacre video. 
It's like, motherfucker, how are you going to taint such greatness with such shit? And that's Todd Sheets' House of Forbidden Secrets. But you know what? After watching it, I can say there's finally a Todd Sheets movie I don't fucking hate. This one was fun. Definitely check it out. Lung. Another Phil Stevens flick. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's no flowers, but it's still cool. And this one has... So he originally released it as Lung 2. And then he re-edited the footage and made a second movie called Lung. And both are included. If you're going to watch this, watch Lung 2 first and then Lung. Lung 2 is the superior cut. Madness of Many. Fucking beautiful flick from Casper Jules. I'm a big fan of his movies, so... If you've seen any of them, you'll know what to expect with this one. It's not a feel-good movie by any means. It's fucking great, though. And look at that. It's another trifold. I fucking miss these. I'm going to say it every time I open one up. Mechanics. I honestly don't remember if I've watched this one or yet or not. It's a stop motion, I believe. So I'm 50-50 on that. But thanks to Joe Meredith's amazing short flicks, South Mill District and Teratomorph, he's restored my faith in stop motion. So maybe one day I'll throw this on. Red Crocodile from Demiziano. A blind buy and my introduction to Demiziano's work. And I still say this is probably his best fucking movie to date. It's extremely downtrodden, no happy ending. And it's. I love watching movies that are based on someone's mental decay. And this is someone fighting his addiction to Crocodile and the effects it has on his body. Beautiful. Super messy flick. I see this one selling for a lot of fucking money now, which cracks me up. Because I got this for like $12 Canadian on Amazon three years ago. Red Room. Another killer fucking movie and a must-own for any fucking horror fan. It is fucking messy. It's fucking gross. The sound effects alone are fucking disgusting when the people are kissing and making out and shit. That, that's fucking gross shit. But it works and it fucking makes the movie that much better. Red Room 2. A lot of people don't care for this one, but it's more of the same from Red Room 1 so if you like Red Room you'll like Red Room 2 because it's fucking nasty as well and there's a scene with a fucking pregnant chick oh fuck I don't even want to say what happens in it but Red Room movies are must owns Rubber's Lover never saw it just grabbed it during a fucking sale The Scarlet Worm, signed edition. I've had this for like two years. I finally watched it back in March or April. Never been a Western fan. Got playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Made me want to watch Westerns. That was the first one I watched. And god damn, it was just a bunch of dudes in the country. But it had like fucking unearthed gore effects in it. So you can't complain. Plus, there's abortions and shit. Win-win, man. Gore, abortions, fucking non-stop violence. Scarlet Worm, check that bitch out. I always fuck up the title of this one, so let's say it nice and slow. Thanatomorphose. Thanatomorphose. There you go. Fucking wicked flick. Fucking chick starts seeing a moldy ass stain in the ceiling that looks like a decrepit cunt. And her body starts fucking falling apart, melting and gooey, and oh, fucking wicked movie. 
Phanatomorphose. Check that bitch out. Three tears on bloodstained flesh. Don't know. Haven't watched it yet, but there it is. I think it's some type of Giallo movie or some fuck. I don't know. Fucking knows. I don't. Do this as a double because it's a fucking double. Fucking torment. Had to double dip. Need to watch the Blu ray, but I wanted the DVD for Martin Trafford's artwork. As much as I hate to say it, I am glad I didn't double dip on Deep Web to get the extra artwork, but I'm pissed off I went with the Blu ray instead of the DVD. Um. Yeah, and this is part of the too extreme for mainstream line, just like Deep Web. This is not too fucking extreme for mainstream. Unearthed Films has released much worse graphically than Torment or Deep Web. And it kind of seems like he's they're using the too extreme line just to push out homosexual horror because that's what's extreme and shocking to people. Having dicks on screen ain't extreme, motherfuckers. And that brings me to my next fucking point. The Vomit Gore Trilogy. How the fuck is this not too extreme for mainstream, but a little fucking cock play is? Vomit Gore shits all over pretty much 99% of extreme movies. The Vomit Gore Trilogy is fucking perfection. Probably my all-time favorite film trilogy right here. Slaughtered Vomit Dolls, Regurgitated Sacrifice, and Slow Torture Puke Chamber. Beautiful. Fucking super stoked that my Angela Chapters pre-order is on the way from Black Lava. Fuck yeah. And there's also um, Black Mass of the Nazi Sex Wizard and uh, other shorts. And this packaging again. This one's a four-disker. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Lucifer Valentine, keep making fucking movies, man. We need you. And finally, the last of the fucking Unearthed Collection. Visceral. About a fucking washed up boxer who can't handle his shit. Starts fucking losing it. Super fucking brutal. Highly recommended. And Jesus fucking Christ, this has been going on for nearly 22 fucking minutes. I'm sure you cunts are fucking sick of me. I'm fucking sick of me. Anyways, thanks for fucking watching. Peace out. Stay fucking sleazy.